Thank you. Um, so I just want to say thank you very much to V2 for having me here tonight. And uh, um, as you can see from the photo, the first the uh, birth birthplace of laser tag is in uh, Rotterdam, so it's nice to almost a year later to, to be back here to show it again and uh, with uh, new features and a whole bunch of uh, new stuff to try out. Um, so Michael pretty much already introduced me, but um, I'm Theo and I'm part of a group based out of New York called the Graffiti Research Lab. And the primary goal of the group is to develop uh, tools to help artists, graffiti writers, activists and protesters to get their message out in public in kind of new and experimental ways. Um, so uh, yeah, we, it's kind of like a combination of a research lab and then um, just making really weird equipment and seeing what it does. Um, so, um, so last year in February we uh, were asked to come to Rotterdam to, uh, to, to try and build a system where that could let you write uh, graffiti on a building with a, with just a laser pointer, um, and we 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 uh, said we could do it, and we really didn't know if we could do it or not, um, but we we thought it might be possible. Um, so uh, this is the moment, uh, literally, when uh, my two colleagues just arrived from New York, and we set it up for the first time uh, in the back of the KPN building on the other side of the water, and. Uh, and it actually worked, and you can kind of see how ec ecstatic. Well, I'm a bit tired, so I'm not so ecstatic, but my friend James is incredibly ecstatic. Um, and then from that moment on, it was just really about uh, uh, having a lot of fun with it and refining the system. We had graffiti writers from Berlin and Rotterdam uh, come out and every night with us just kind of hang out and be like, oh, it'd be great if you could kind of make the system have drips or if you could like have a bevel brush. So on train rides back and forth between Amsterdam and Rotterdam, these, these features would come to life. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was really valuable. And, um, and I think what made it such a fun experience was because we actually had proper graffiti writers. Like, I can't write graffiti to save my life, so it would look really bad if it was just me. But, um, and then since then, we've uh, shown it really all over the world. Um, um, in Amsterdam, uh, uh, during the museum night, um, well, that's kind of... <laughs> From the from the ship, ship museum um, uh, to Brooklyn Bridge in New York, um, and uh, this is another graffiti, New York graffiti writer uh, called Hell um, to uh, Italy. Um, <laughs> this is kind of I, I didn't actually I didn't hear about this one until I saw the photo and I was like no way the Colosseum that's awesome. Um, it's Hong Kong um, and. The world's actually the world's furthest laser tag, and they, they smashed my record when they went to Hong Kong. Of, I think the distance was, uh, oh, it doesn't say, but anyway. Um, uh, yeah, so this was actually how far it was from where they were doing the laser tag. I don't know if you can see that, but that's across a bay. Uh, and that was, you had to actually zoom in on a DV camera even to see the result of it, but that was the laser tag on, on the building. Um, and then Dublin. Um, in Basel, in uh, Switzerland, uh, with a ridiculously powerful projector. And recently in MoMA as well, which is much to our amusement, uh, the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And uh, we were really initially against doing it just because it seemed kind of weird to put up laser tag inside in a museum because uh, as this whole night's been about, we're really trying to get out into urban space. Um, but then we thought of this idea, which is that uh, a lot of friends of ours are graffiti writers who are constantly being brought up uh, in front of judges to, to kind of make the argument that what they're doing is art and it's not actually vandalism. And uh, we thought, well, if we can get all of New York City's most wanted graffiti writers in MoMA, um, in New York's premier uh, modern art museum, then next time they go in front of the judge, they can actually, uh, they, have, they have something to, to, for their defense. Um, so, I'll just quickly just show, this was the, f the first video of it, of it, of it in Rotterdam, um, when this guy, random guy just came up to us. Uh. <laughs> he was very drunk. Um, so, while the video is playing, I'm just going to explain quickly uh, what this, this whole contraption is and then invite you guys to come out 
and uh, find some places to, to have, do some laser tagging uh, in the surroundings. Um, so, uh, very quickly we realized that carrying around everything in, in flight cases is not the ideal way to get around town very quickly. Um, so we thought we really wanted to build this idea of, uh, of a, a mobile projection unit where you could um, put, have a laptop, some music, camera, a generator, or some other type of power supply, and you could quickly, easily go around town on a bike and put up messages in you know, maybe controversial locations, and then hopefully get out of there pretty quickly if, if you need to, or change locations. Um, we found that the bike isn't actually that fast a way to get anywhere, but <laughs> um, it, we don't have a van, so it beats carrying the stuff around. Um, but the idea really is that we go around the world and we actually set these things up for people. We show people how to use the laser tag software. We show people how to develop graphics to project uh, content in urban environments so, uh, so that they can then go and do this stuff and use it for you know, any protests or like a political dissent that they want to. Um, and the software for laser tag is, is cross-platform, open source, C++. So you can actually go online and download it. And if you have a projector, a camera or, or a laptop with a webcam, you're pretty much set for doing laser tag. It just depends on what sort of scale uh, you want to do it. And oh yeah, you need a laser pointer. Um, and these are very, very dangerous. And it's actually great that I can announce to everyone right now because these are not normal laser pointers. They're uh, very, very powerful, even though they look kind of harmless. They're, if you get it in your eye, you'll be blinded for the rest of your life, so permanently blinded. Um, so we've, ne we've done it in... Uh, maybe like 10 or 15 countries all over the world, and we've not had a problem, but everyone is, we've kind of scared the crap out of them beforehand. Uh, so really just be very responsible with this. Don't weigh this around, just keep it on the surface that we're laser tagging. Uh, and that, uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's a, it's a scary input device. But anyway, uh, we'll have fun. Um, and yeah, so um, we're gonna try and uh, pack this up, and I think the first spot we're gonna hit is uh, on the front side of the building. Uh, there's a nice big wall with uh, hopefully no lights, and then uh, we'll do a little bit of adventuring and see where we end up. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, thanks to you for this introduction.